Hello, my name's Ewan and I'm a self-confessed astronomy addict. Behind me you can see my new telescope which is the uh, 80 by 600 mil scope refractor from 365 Astronomy. The thing is, is that I'm not just reviewing that one. I'm reviewing this one too. This is the 400 mil focal length version of that telescope uh, and I've got this one to review as well. I'm not buying this scope, I'm buying that one. Zoltan at 365 Astronomy, when I wasn't sure which of the two scopes I wanted, very kindly sent me both, just so that I could give them a try. So this one's going back to him, that one I'm keeping, but to be honest, this is the better scope. I'm going to go through and explain why I'm keeping the not so good scope in a minute, uh, but for the meantime, let's go and have a look at it. Okay, so let's start at the top and work our way down. Uh, everything on this telescope, as with the 60mm finder that I've already done a review for, um, everything on this telescope is metal apart from the optics and the focuser. Now if you look down you can see all the way through very clearly to my CLS filter on my camera, on my DSR camera down here at the bottom, which shows you that the optics are fantastically clear. What I'm not sure you'll be able to see is that, I hope you can hear that, it's flocked. The whole tube, all the way down, right the way down to the focuser, flocked and baffled all the way through which makes a fantastic difference to the contrast that you get with this particular scope. Uh, as I said before, it is a longer scope than normal. It's the 600 millimeter focal length with an 80 mil aperture, giving you an F ratio of uh, F 7.5, which I actually have found really, really quite good. Uh, moving to the focuser, let's step around this side just so that you can see. It is actually a dual speed Crayford focuser. Now I did take the focuser apart and have a look at it because uh, there was a very slight grind on it when I got it. All it was was a small bit of, of uh, plastic had got into the mechanism during the manufacturing process. As soon as I took that out it's been smooth and lovely ever since. Uh, I've even re-greased it, which was a nice easy job. It only takes about 10 minutes. It's uh, very, very, very smooth though, this focus. So it's, I've been very, very impressed with it. Now you can see here that we have a two inch focuser with centimeter and inch measurements on the focusing tube. The telescope does come with an adapter for a 1.25 eyepiece and here it is. It has a brass compression ring as does the two inch focuser. The thing is is that this particular adapter doesn't have the T2 thread on it that I use for my 2 inch uh, extension tube for focus on my camera. So I've taken this one out and put a spare one in that I had. This tube here, just to give you a, an idea, this tube I picked up from a mate, it cost me a whole £8 including the ring uh, for the camera. And the focus, uh, the, sorry, the 1.25, uh, not 1.25, the 2 inch adapter for the tube actually comes off my Newtonian scope just over there. Uh, so it's, it's interchangeable, but the camera would be moving with it always anyway. So it's not a problem. I don't mind having to, you know, having to switch out. But it does mean that with this adapter, when I use this camera for visual work, I don't have to worry about marks on my right angle or on my eyepiece or eyepieces or anything like that. Uh, and as I said, the two inch focuser has the same, the brass compression ring. 
Okay, now looking at the optics, you do have multi-coated optics. Let's just slide the dew shield back so that you can get a good look at the optics there. Uh, multi-coated, fantastic. I've been so impressed with the view that this telescope has given me. Now the one thing I have noticed is, is how good the contrast has been and as a way to evidence that I want to show you some of the photographs that I've taken. Now these photographs were all done with a high large moon um, and also one of my neighbours has uh, had a garden party and they had uh, lights going. I'll explain everything uh, when we're looking at the photos. The tube rings that you've got here came with this particular telescope but the dovetails, um, these are my matching pair that I have on my Newt as well. Um, if you look at the Newtonian, you can just see a dovetail on there. That was the original dovetail that came with this particular telescope. But as these two are matching, I'm just using those for the moment. I will eventually buy a, a secondary dovetail identical to that one. So again, I can just change over my... 60mm finder and guider whenever I need to. Uh, in the meantime, let's go and have a look at my photos. Okay, now hopefully you can see a lovely picture of Andromeda and hopefully you can also see my mouse pointer. It's the first time I've used this program, it's a thing called Cam Studio, so let's see how it works. Now this was a, an image that I took last night. Uh, you can see that the center of Andromeda is blown, um, it's a bit too light, but it's just uh, 40 minutes worth of exposures that I've then stacked in Deep Sky Stacker. So we haven't got a huge amount of detail here. We had a 90% moon last night, um, so I didn't expect very much from it. I did, however, get, as you can see, quite a few good dust lanes, which I was quite impressed with. And that's where the contrast of the uh, 600 by 80 scope comes in. Uh, the benefits of having it flocked and baffled is that the contrast is vastly improved. So even when you've got a high moon, uh, you can still do some decent images. Let's flick to the next one. Now this is one that I took a, a, a wee while ago, uh, probably a about four weeks ago now. Dumbbell Nebula, uh, again with the same scope. This was when my neighbours were having their garden party and they had their floodlights going. So I had that to the south and then to the east I had a rising 80% moon uh, and I was looking sort of southeast. So I had it from both, both angles and it was um, yeah, the viewing wasn't great, but the imaging, as you can see, has come out really, really well. I'm very, very pleased with this. Again, only about an hour's worth of data. We've got a wide shot here of the Whirlpool uh, galaxy and its little partner galaxy just here that it's uh, that, that's feeding off of it. And again, this was last night. It's a, a nice. It shows you the, uh, the the actual field of view that you get with this scope. The other images have, of course, been adjusted slightly. The Andromeda one only a tiny bit. The uh, Dumbbell Nebula. I've cropped it in a bit, but not a, not as much as I could have done. Uh, but this one, I've left it alone to show you how wide a view you do get. So you can pack an awful lot of information into one image which you can see here this is the witch's broomstick uh, part of the veil nebula again this is only 40 to 40 minutes to an hour's worth of data um, I was doing five minute exposures here and had a bit of a camera wobble on a couple of them but that was my own fault tripping over my mount so um, I can't really blame it <laughs> anything other than, than than user error but I'm very pleased with this considering the length of exposure time that I've had on it. I will be going back to the veil later on, so I'll be adding some more data to it. Uh, but I've been very pleased with this so far. So there we are. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my camera and we'll talk about 
the scope and why I'm buying it. Thanks very much. Hold on for a moment. Andy back with my ugly mug again. So why am I buying this scope instead of the 400mm version that I've already said is the better scope? It's because of the contrast. The, the flocking and the baffling make a huge difference to the image that you get. That little scope has a fantastic quality of image and the glass is great. The, the whole optics, the setup, the feel, it feels like a good solid piece of kit. This feels just as solid. It feels like a proper telescope. It's, it's bigger. So from the point of view of when you're out doing um, any shows or you're uh, doing public displays and that sort of thing I think this is the better scope anyway because it does actually give you a more impressive item to show to an astronomer I think the smaller scope would probably be the scope of choice because it's f5 rather than f7.5 Trying to find a field flattener for this one is going to be fun. I'm sure that they do make one, but I've got to find it. As it is, without the field flattener, I've been very pleased with the images that I've got so far. As I said, I've only done hour-long exposures in total for each of the images, so there isn't a huge amount of detail. But what I have got out of it, I'm very, very pleased with. The other reason I want to buy this scope is because it's f7.5. I have... A lot of f5 scopes i have uh, a 102 millimeter uh, sky watcher i've got my newtonian they're both f5 this is the only f7.5 scope that i own and i can see me keeping it for quite a while and i can see me using it for an awful lot of imaging even though I think it was primarily designed to be used for visual astronomy. And it does a fantastic job of that as well. I was at a Persid Meteor Shower uh, event and I took this telescope with my right angle and a few eyepieces, particularly my little Skywatcher Zoom eyepiece, which is a very versatile uh, eyepiece for using on public displays because you can just very quickly change the, uh, the the amount of magnification that you're getting. I ended up with a queue of people waiting to have a look at Saturn because I'd put the scope on Saturn, I'd left it there quite happily, called someone over, they called someone else over, they called someone else over, we ended up with a queue. I think I got to look through the scope about twice for the entire night. But everyone loved the scope and everyone i had other astronomers uh, other members of the club who were turning around and, and saying how much better the image was through this scope than through their own small refractors so although i'm saying it's not as good as the 400 millimeter scope it's still excellent and it's still fantastic value for money. And because of that, I'm buying it.